On July 19th, my sister Carrie went into the hospital with COVID. Um, she's a NICU nurse and had contracted it um, from her husband who also works in a hospital. And um, quickly it went from oxygen to her being placed on a ventilator and from the ventilator to her lungs have stopped working and there's no hope for her and they had her on life support. Um, everyone we knew, <clears throat> the doctor team, um, some family members wanted um, life support removed because it was just hopeless. It was a hopeless situation. Um, but me and her husband, we knew the God of miracles and um, we just campaigned heaven and got everyone we knew to campaign heaven on her behalf. And they did, you did, um, so many did. And one door led to the next, miracle after miracle. Um, a coworker of hers happened to know the transplant coordinator for that part of the United States. And she came into the story and um, opened that door. God used her to open that door. And um, that man got my sister eventually on the transplant list for um, the Northwestern Memorial Transplant Team Chicago um, and got her a new set of lungs. And we just know that God did that. No one else, God. And everyone stood with us and everyone believed with us and everyone declared with us and stood on the word of God when the world was saying it was hopeless, when the world was saying, um, pull the plug, when the world was saying, you're ridiculous for thinking God told you she was gonna live. We just held fast to what we knew God had told us. And we stood for her and she got her new lens on October 23rd and she's doing amazing. And um, I visited her twice in Chicago and she's alive and happy and well. And we shopped together and ate together and laid on the bed and watched movies together. And um, to um, everyone out there, if the world tells you no, but God has said yes, you cling to what God has said because he has the final say always. And he is still the God of miracles.